Not Bam. Bam. There we go. Alright, you guys can start. So we're seeing um, Ike and Villager. Now I know um, Bam has told me a lot of times that he thinks this character is a lot better is better with this matchup just because he feels more at home with it and of uh, some other miscellaneous things I can't think of off the top of my head. I definitely think Ike has the advantage in this matchup with just his long range. I mean, Villager does have the slingshots, which also has a lot of range, but just nothing nothing can compare to a giant sword. This man is basically guts, but in Smash, more or less. Whips the grab, just, just Ike is just does not reach his hand out at all to get that grab. Vam is looking for looking for Nair to start some combos. Because Villager's kinda light, so I'm I'm figuring any kind of like Nair up air is gonna kill at like 70, 80, especially with the amount of raids that he's piling up. The grab, that was really smart because Bam was Bam was shielding because he was probably always scared of getting hit by any other move like giant like um Void or the slingshots. They're very they're both very oppressive, but I feel like with any character with a projectile, they're not the best just get just because they can be sent back. We're we gonna see a down air. He there is a down air, but he gets the uh, he gets the balloons instead of the actual. Bam nearly dodges the tree and loser tries to cut down the tree and actually kills Vam in the process. So, I mean, whatever works works, I guess. The forward air, the loser was chaining him back and forth with the forward airs, but Vam is like, no, get off stage. See, he tries to go for the trump, but it's a little too late. Emma safely back on stage, rolls past everything Loser is trying to throw at him, and he just doesn't even care. He's like, no, I'm going to get back on stage. Here's one, a Nair, not a full up up air, but does get the dash attack, that lingering hitbox of the dash attack. Ooh, that spot touch. That spot touch was questionable, but he gets he gets red with the bowling ball, a really, a very popular move with villagers, especially with characters with linear recoveries, like Ike. But then again, Ike throws the sword in the air, so that kind of has... Makes the makes the edge guarding a little bit harder just because you have to time it more. Once you're coming back on stage with a very aggressive option. Ooh, and again with the aggression, just shooting shooting little pellets everywhere. So as you get bam, hit him. So he misses his tech. Knock him off stage. Yeah, it does feel kind of weird not seeing Ike's forward air and very far at eighty three percent. In this game, it's kind of it's different. It's not as strong as it was in Foreign Brawl. So it was kind of like a monster. It was like a it's like a truck of an aerial. But Ike has many other kill moves, so I don't think I don't, it's not the worst thing ever. But I feel like most most Ike mains would rather have that move back. Oh, that jab lock! Oh, but he doesn't get the up smash afterwards. Miss input from loser. That happens to me all the time when I try to do stuff like that. Ooh, just losers coming with all these projectiles, making it so Vam, or just any hitbox in general, and make sure Vam does not get out. Parries, and he doesn't nair, which read the spot dodge, was very smart coming from Vam. Like, Vam definitely knows how to punish stuff like that, because nair, as you can mix up so many ways. Oh, and he gets clipped by the thyroid, killing him. It looks like Vam, loser is up, up one against Vam. Oh, oh, where's the bracket? And there. Oh, that's not the bracket. That's the, there. We go. There we go. I, don't, I think that was stadium. No, no whatever stage it was. Is Bam gonna stay or is he gonna go? We're seeing a character switch. So we're going from one character with a jump in the jump in the air sword spin recovery to another one. But I feel like Krom just Krom's a little bit better than Ike. In my opinion, I feel like he might, he's debatably the best Fire Emblem character in the cast, but... That... Rom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all these Nairs, this, this little child spinning all over the place. I don't know. Bam is like trying to hit him with this giant sword, but it's no match for Villager's very stubby limbs and body. Oh my gosh, that parry was so smart coming from Loser, and he got so much damage off of that. It's still going! That was an amazing combo from Loser, and he gets the edge guard. I was just talking about that. He got the ex he got the just frame, the just frame where he was able to punish that. And knocks him off stage. Let's trump a Vam, but Loser just lets Vam come back, and ooh, and he just clips him, and he just takes him down with it. I mean, if you want to reset neutral, that's exactly how you do it. Now we're pretty much playing Smash Four. And then you would run up and shield, and we would spend hours looking at the neutral. Yeah, 
PS4 had that problem where shields were like the best. It it, it was the best option probably ever, just because of the way aerials worked on it, and it was so easy to show grab people. Oh, he gets the hard hardest of reads with that F smash. Um. Anyway, um, we're just gonna. We're just gonna pretend that happened. So, don't mind the computer, it's just is like, hey, how about that? What do you get? Dead? Fam's? Fam's on something right now. He's on that stuff, reading that tech in with an F smash. Especially because Kromnik can just move back and forth with his dash dances and react to everything. It's like when athletes stand, up, stand on their tippy toes right before something happens. It makes your reaction time just a little bit faster just because you're preparing yourself mentally. The rar bear does not come out. Loser being very, very greedy with that forward air to dodge that F smash. But now he's going to come back to stage with all of his options. With Vam's covering all of them. Let's see how Loser can Loser get back to stage. Or is Vam just going to... He was able to get back because of the gyroid, the hitbox. It sends like... Or the explosion just sends at just the right angle. The nair... Alright, are we going to see some kind of edge guarding coming from Vam? If there was no air dodge there, Loser would have been sucked it down to the Shadow Realm with that, with that whatever Kroms up is called, just the spin move. Ooh, but he does get... Oh, I heard not, I heard it. There we go. Because I'm with the up air. Bam. They were coming back very promisingly. Oh, I will cut up. Krom will cut a path, and Ike fights for his friends. Very nice people. Very nice people, I must say. And the Spire Emblem community. <laughs> I feel like Krom's around, like, an optimal part of There's this, um, there's this YouTuber who makes, like, daily things out of Dragon Ball Fighters, like, with the characters. And I feel like someone could do that with Krom. Like, yeah, there's this one where, um, it's Beerus is grading papers, and every character walks in, and he, like, shows the score, and he's like, You did well! I made of went. I may have went too far, something like that. But we're going to the most optimal, the most optimal stage coming from one of the two brothers who loves just the stage and the music. Because like the other, I think the other category has some really good bangers. It's got from all the other series that aren't represented with the character, or just like just in general. Because there's so many stages that come from this other other franchises that don't appear as a character or anything else. Alright. Yeah, it's all three out of five. Or best of five. I, same thing. I said the same thing. Raw F smash? There you go. Oh, I just knocked my head off. He gets the bowling ball. Bowling ball once again. I didn't know how much, I didn't know how like crucial it would be for this matchup. But I think it's working for the loser pretty well. Vam has to come back with this one from this one stock deficit, but he is he's he's doing some more damage and just trying to come back from this and he gets the F smash and that does kill. No red sparks or nothing. He doesn't get the red stuff. Get the F smash. Excuse me. It's gaseous for no reason. Alright, I think we're good. We're good. The stage he comes right back. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> anyway. These are knocking Vam away from ledge, just like saying no to any kind of um, edge, edge guarding, um, ledge trapping, any kind of ledge trapping that Vam might have. But the, this is still pretty even because Krom can Krom can rack up so much damage in just a short amount of time with his just his aerials just work so well together. Nair links into up air, Nair links into itself and forward air, and maybe back air if you rar if you rar it. Let's see, and he clips him. He I don't, two frame, two frames him with the burning. It's some. It's called burning, but there's no fire from Krom. But there is some fire coming out of those coming out of those fireworks. Then Animal Crossing games just kind of like, oh, you know, it's cool, but in this game, it's pretty deadly. Especially because Sakurai needed to make some things in Animal Crossing able to do damage, like bowling balls, slingshots, anything that's available to the villager. This is this is pretty close, but this prop with Crom's subpar recovery, any kind of just if he takes his jump, oh and he gets hit by the bowling ball, just I was saying that. Alright, so we're gonna go two one right now. Yeah, Trigobite was right. The uh the fossil does have a very, very good 
good um texture. And Smash Weed yes, it kinda just had polygonalness no, to it. it. Oh really? I never knew that. I feel like for the 3DS, they could have just like ripped the model straight from Animal Crossing yeah. and just upscaled the resolution a little bit. Oh, yeah, and the Wii U was nice and pretty. The Wii U looked really nice, in my opinion, but it wasn't able to hold some games. But mm. a lot of characters look kind of weird, but I guess it's the lighting. But I do like the advanced lighting in this game. Ultimate's very pretty. It's a very pretty game. Or down smash. Oh, and he reads it with an up air. That was good. Oh no. No, there's another stage that had 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is a very good track. Very sad, but at the same time, you can fight to it, which is very strange. I don't know why you would want to do that. We're near to Ford Air. Nothing else afterwards. Loser's just going to throw him off stage. Let's try to ledge trap him. Bam gets e easily, easily back on stage with Nairs and Ford Airs, and it's just giant story in general. He misses that ever so slightly. There's, there seems to be a lot of trading with the gyroid, or Lloyd, whatever you want to call it. That back air, strong back air. I, I, it's really fast, too. It's probably frame, frame like, six or seven is that fast. Maybe even faster. I'm just trying to base it off, like, Ganondorf's up air in Smash 4. It was really fast. It was active for, like, six frames or something like that. And then when it was active for 10 frames, it came out like frame 6 or 7. It was really fast, and it was good. In this game, it's still good. But you don't really see Ganon that much anymore, especially after the game came out. He was, everyone was just like, oh yeah, he's big and strong. He's better in this game, which he definitely is. But that counter, that was really weird. Like, it hit lagged like before the sword even looked like it hit. Oh, no, no. Ooh! That was really smart from Bam, realizing that... Loser had no ledge of instability anymore, and that F smash just slams this child's fingers. It's like the episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob just like gets his hands just like broken. I don't like You know what else you don't want to think of? Ch sofa moving scene with Squidward and his toe. Or the splinter. Splinter with his giant thumb. The creator, God bless his heart, he has some very disgusting imagery in that oh, show. I'm really glad it wasn't his fault because it was his fault. I would have a, I would need a serious conversation with him. It's uh, it's whoever. I don't even know who draws the show. I don't know who the uh, art or the illustrators are. It was bad. Live action Avatar was not good. Awful. <laughs> Glad I was able to I'm able to appease the appease the matches the oh gosh I can't even speak I'm just gonna forget that that quote ever happened down throw not killing which that definitely is a that was a really smart B reverse coming from loser with the I frames that most people don't realize that pocket does have iframes. frames that's why people use it for moves like Din's fire even though it doesn't necessarily pocket it it's just it's just iframes. frames or you can just dodge it you vamp fast falls unfortunate but losers at such a high percent. I wanted to see how this, you know, this goes, and I hear a dash attack coming through, and it's 2 2. Let's see how we're going to go with this next match. Let's see what kind of stage we're going to go to. That, there's something I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what stage we're going to go to. Waiting very patiently for the stage to be chosen. I thought that something was someone was drifting. Speaking of drifting, uh, Joy-Con drifting is awful. I hate that after a certain amount of time, your Joy-Cons just like to input up, down, or left, or right, whenever it feels like, even when the stick is neutral. Shout out to every match I've. Shout out to every match I've lost when playing my friends. When I had when I before I fixed my Joy-Con, that's something I need to do is take apart the old joystick and see what was wrong with it in the first place. See if I can figure it out. Same characters? Yeah. He's, Bam decided to go back to Ike. I didn't even realize the last name that he was Ike instead of Crom. They both kind of just have like that sound whenever they hit something, which is nice. I'm glad they changed some of the hit sound in Smash 4. Smash 4 had some very interesting 
pet sounds compared to this game. Beginning, going back to the match, we have ooh, Nairs again, and Loser's able to get out of it. That was a good ledge stall using uh, using Lloyd right on the side of the stage, which makes it blow up pretty much instantly and allows Villager to act out. Ooh. An edge guard coming from Vam. But you, that out smash almost hit, but that grab was just a little bit faster, even though Villager's grab is really slow. But it, in like certain situations, it feels like it's one of the fastest grabs in the game. No up air afterwards. See, that was an interesting just bump. Fam couldn't do anything because of Loser's placement of the Lloyd. Lloyd made it so that, oop, and it just doesn't even matter. That Lloyd, he tried to spam that out and then got hit by Ike's forward air. It's like just sword swipe. That's not a truck anymore. Down throw, up air. All right, let's see if he can continue this. No more. He was able, he was trying to trying to hit where he was, but Loser knew exactly how to get out of that. Jared was very... Ooh, the hit lag. I thought for sure it would extend the hitbox a little more. When that happens, it's crazy. It's just like, oh yeah, I think this move's gonna happen, but the hit lag makes it so it lasts like three times longer. Loser's just trying to do something about Vam on the platform. Using up, sm up smash, which I think yeah, has a pretty good hitbox. It's got just a bunch of like explosions. That that was strange. Oh, and he gets the nice back air. I forgot that was a meme. Let me see if we can. Loser is in a very compromising position right now. He is two stocks behind, but Ike is. Ooh, but he reads the roll with an up smash because that tree is very scary on ledge because it covers so many options. If they try to do normal get up, Villager just uses the axe and the hitbox gets extended. Let's see. Loser's Loser's onto something right now, but Bam was able to easily get out of that, easily get out of that combo with a jump. See, just hits those balloons. I feel like I don't know, like if that's good. I think it's still um, it still makes the move stale when it hits the balloons. You figure it wouldn't wouldn't be the case, but they changed it in this game where even hitting it on even hitting a move on shield makes it stale or going to the stale queue. Ooh, he parries it. Good punish. I'm off stage trying to do something. Joke or uh, losers? Losers kind of bringing this back a little bit. I almost said Joker for some reason. Damn, amazing defense. Doesn't want to get hit by any anything stray. He has to recover in a weird way, but Villager just is not fast enough to punish that. <laughs> he tries to hit him with the sword, does get it, but also gets blown up. Then Loser is bringing this back very, very well. He's doing a good job. I just we'll see if he's able to take it take it in the end. Comebacks are always a possibility, but not not when Ike uses his strong moves and just big hitboxes in general. Just he parried that, but does not get off of it. He just tries to make himself in a more advantaged position, in advantageous position, which is very smart to do with a parry, because parry gives you, I think I don't know how many frames, but it gives you a lot of plus frames. The up tilt, but I think Loser was prepared for that. He DI'd that just the right way. You're supposed to DI behind Ike during that because of like the way it hits or whatever. Well, Vam, Vam needs just just needs to close out the stock. Nair is not going to set up to anything just because of how light it is, and I hear a up air. And Vam takes it 3 2. Vam and. 